Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about Git, a widely used version control tool that helps us manage and track code changes. In this video, we'll quickly go over the four main areas in a Git project and some common Git commands. In Git, project management mainly involves four areas. The first area is the working directory, which is where you edit your code locally. It contains all the current files in the project, and any changes you make happen here first. The second area is the staging area, also known as the index. It's a temporary space that holds the changes you're preparing to commit. Think of it as a waiting room for changes you want to save. The third area is the local repository, which stores the complete history of your commits. This allows you to look back at previous versions or revert to an earlier state if needed. The fourth area is the remote repository, typically hosted on platforms like GitHub or GitLab, where team members can collaborate. You can push your local changes to the remote repository or pull the latest code from it to keep in sync with your team. Now let's look at some common Git commands. If you're starting a new project, you can create a new local repository with Git in it. But if the project already has a remote repository, say on GitHub, you can use Git clone to copy the repository's code to your local system. When you make changes to a file, you can use git add to stage the changes, marking them as ready for the next commit. After finishing your edits, use git commit to save those changes to the local repository. During development, you can check the status of your working directory and staging area anytime with git status, which shows you which files have been modified and which ones are staged for the next commit. To view your commit history, you can use git log, which displays all past commits. Once you're done with your local development, you can use git push to upload your commits to the remote repository so that team members can access these updates. If you need to sync with updates from the remote repository, you can use git fetch to download the latest changes without merging them automatically. If you want to combine these changes with your local branch, you can use git merge. Alternatively, git pull combines fetching and merging in a single command, pulling down updates and merging them automatically. For team collaboration, it's common to create a separate branch for new features. You can create a new branch with git branch, then switch to it using git checkout or git switch. When your new feature is ready, you can merge it back into the main branch with git merge. Lastly, if you want to see the specific changes in your files, you can use git diff. This command has several options, allowing you to compare differences between the working directory, staging area, and commit history.